This is a the, the Candidates Forum, sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce. Special acknowledgments to Nikki Foster, the Front Royal Ward County Chamber of Commerce, for organizing this event. Thank you very much for the people that have chosen to attend. We appreciate you being here. Uh, a, couple of, a couple of things, guidelines for this event. This is a nonpartisan event, a nonpartisan event meant to educate and inform the voting public on the candidates and their ability to perform the tasks of the office that they wish to hold. Okay. Audience members are asked to hold applause. Let's try to be quiet and listen to the candidates. Uh, hold applause while the candidates are speaking. Outbursts, yelling, interfering with our, our forum, we'll, we'll ask you to leave. So please be real courteous to the candidates and to the other people attending here tonight. Um, the candidates will go according to numbers that were chosen by random. The questions that will be asked have been submitted to the chamber by the public or developed by the Chamber's Legislative Committee. The questions will be read to the candidates by myself, Brian Biggs, the moderator. The moderator. Only questions that are issue-based and relevant to the governance of the town of Front Royal will be used. No questions will be allowed directly from an audience member for the candidates. Um, uh, candidates will have one minute to answer the questions. The green light will be used. There's a, there's a stoplight up here. The green light will be used to indicate they have time remaining. If it turns yellow, they have 20 seconds or less remaining. If it turns red, the time is up and the candidates will please stop and allow the next candidate to have their say. Um, this year we have a new thing called a, a rebuttal card or a red card. I think everyone has one up there. And what that means is when each candidate has answered a given question, if there was something said or there's a rebuttal that a candidate feels they need to clear the air about, they can hold their red card up but they can only do that once over the course of these questions, over the course of this event. So choose your question wisely if you're going to use a rebuttal card. The forums are live streaming, so remember that. The noise and the outbursts, everybody's watching, so let's be very courteous. Our first forum is the mayors, so we appreciate our candidates that are on the stand right now. We have three candidates. These candidates will serve a two-year term. The candidates are... James Favors, Chris Holloway, and Michael McCool. We're going to start with the questions now. You have one minute uh, to answer. We're going to start with uh, James Favors. Question number one, in your words, describe the role of mayor. I personally believe that the mayor of Front Royal has a lot more duties than mayors have in the, in the past. I think the voice of the people goes through the mayor. And I think the mayor needs to, if there's a committee that needs to be formed, uh, if the mayor needs to get with the council because there's an issue, that I think the mayor needs to put that, that together, put the committees together. I think that the mayor's duties here in Front Royal should really be more than they have been in the past. And um, if I'm elected, I will definitely try to get that to put, pulled together. And uh, I think a mayor's position in Front Royal is a key position, not just a tiebreaker. Thank you. Uh, Mr. McCool, you're, in your words, describe the role of mayor. He's number two. I'm sorry. Number two is Chris Holloway. I apologize. Uh, the role as mayor is to actually uh, take the vision uh, of the public, what they want to see for their town, and present it to council and help it, help it move forward. Uh, the position of mayor uh, sets the agenda, um, and he does, as Mr. Favors says, breaks ties. But it's also supporting council. Um, it's an important position. A lot of people say or think it's a uh, um, uh, uh, something that really isn't needed, or uh, it is a uh, uh, a non-important uh, position, but. Uh, the, the role of mayor is someone who uh, actually supports and uh, moves the agenda forward. And, uh, and I think it's uh, the vision of the people. He's got to push it. So to me, that's the, that's the role of a mayor. Good. Mr. McCool. According to the town charter, the mayor, mayor's roles are limited but important. 
and we know that he presides he presides over the presides over the meetings. He breaks ties uh, when there's a tie vote. He's the ceremonial head of the uh, of the town. He does the ribbon cuttings and makes signs the documents uh, and those type of things. But really, what the mayor is, the mayor should be the champion for the town. The mayor can appoint committees. This is where citizens get involved in the government. Uh, and this is something that hasn't been done for quite a while. And we need to have citizen input. I know we have a republic and we elect officials that do what we think they'll do, but sometimes it doesn't hurt to get a little additional information and the facts. So that's the greatest, one of the greatest things a mayor can do is appoint committees and, and lead and champion the town and, and do that. That's what I think the most important role is. Thank you very much. Second question, we'll start with uh, Mr. Holloway, what do you believe are the two most important issues facing the town of Front Royal? And as mayor, how will you address those issues? Number one, I think it's, well, it's got to be the, the EDA scandal. Um, I think it's important for uh, the citizens of Front Royal to uh, see justice um, for the ones that uh, committed fraud. Uh, I think it's very important. We just, uh, myself and uh, Councilwoman uh, Cockrell, just submitted a uh, a resolution um, to uh, forward on to try to bring those uh, guilty parties to justice. Um, and also, um, I would say our infrastructure. Our uh, we're finally taking care of our I and I issues um, after several years. Um, I think that's very important to continue. Um, not only that, um, we have, uh, okay. <laughs> Yellow means you have just a few oh, more okay, seconds. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, we have uh, um, the, e uh, the Afton Inn, which the, uh, the town of Front Royal doesn't own, the EDA owns, and I think it's important for us to push the EDA to do something with that corner. It's a very important uh, corner in our community. Thank you. Mr. McCool. Same question. Same question. Repeat the question for me one more time. What do you believe are the two most important issues facing the town of Front Royal? And as mayor, how will you address those issues? The main issue that I think we have, one of the two, is working with the county, working with our EDA. This is, we are part of the county. I think sometimes people forget that the town is in the county. I call the town the heart and soul of Warren County. Some disagree, especially those on the council, I mean the board of supervisors maybe, but uh, we are part of the county. And when we have these bickering things going on between the town council and the board of supervisors and in, in the EDA, what it is is everyone ends up paying, town citizens end up paying twice. So things can be worked out. If we don't have a, a cohesive uh, government that can work together and get the things done that needs to be done in our community, we're just not, all we are is spinning our wheels. So that's probably the most important thing is to have a good working relationship between the county and the EDA. That's what I say. And I think that rolls into probably question you know, the uh, number two, which is all part of the same thing, EDA, the county. We have to focus, though, on what's the purpose of the town government. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Favors. I agree with Mr. McCall 100 percent. But I think there are two major issues for Front Royal. Number one, businesses. Main Street and businesses as a whole in the community. And I think the second part is tourism. Now, we don't have a tourism director full time. What I would do is definitely put on a full time business director or a tourism director with a committee to go ahead and focus in on how to get tourism going within the town. Uh, I think it's more than just putting leaflets out and pamphlets and that sort of thing. I think that, that tourism director needs to get out there and get out to the different cities. And I'm not talking about New York or Philly because that's not where we need to go. We need to go to Washington. We need to go to Richmond. We need to go to Virginia Beach. For the businesses, I would definitely impose some type of financial, uh, basically financial rewards for the businesses that have been here and some type of financial, basically, rewards as well to get new businesses into town. Okay, thank you. Third question, we start with Mr. McCool. The issues dividing the town and county are well documented, yet the town and county still need to work together on a variety of projects and issues. Do you feel the division between the town and county is an issue? And if so, what will you do to improve the working relationship between the two? 
It's definitely an issue. If the county and county can't work together, we're not going to get anything solved. One of the things that I would do is bring this two, uh, two parties together and sit down and just work out the issues. We don't need to be doing this with a bunch of lawyers going back and forth and spending our tax dollars. We have people that are qualified already serving on the council and serving on the board of supervisors that can both take the problem, work it out, sit in a room, you know, like we do in business. You sit there and you work it out until you come out with a result that can be win-win for, for both parties. Remember, all the citizens of Warren County are also citizens, part of them, uh, in the town of Front Royal. So what's good for one should be good for the other. And that's what we need to do. Just work it out and not be, have all these childish behaviors where we go back and forth and talk between lawyers. Okay. Mr. Favors? I think, number one, Mr. McCool is absolutely correct, once again, and I agree with you. I think that we should have regular scheduled meetings with the folks from the county. And I think it should not include the mayor, but it should include the council, as well as the board of supervisors. And sit down and let's talk about what some of the obstacles are and how we can correct those obstacles. Uh, right now, sometimes it feels like the county's the enemy, or Front Royal is the enemy you know, of the county. That can't be happening. We're in all, all together in the same boat, basically. Get everybody together on a regular basis and sit down and talk it out. I found a long time ago, a long time ago that if there's a problem, you better sit down and work it out. Because the more and more it festers, the more problems you're going to have. Okay, Mr. Holloway. I think it's very important for the town and county to work things out together. Um, you know, the town citizens, when you're mayor, town council, town citizens, yeah, they're county citizens, but you're representing the town. You want to do what's best for the town citizens. We do have regularly uh, well, li liaison meetings, but since COVID, we haven't had one in a while. But uh, you got to remember that, that yes, we represent the town citizens and we want what's best for them. Um, and I would love to sit down uh, with the uh, county and try to work things out. Yeah, lawyers are just, you know, they're all about the, the dollar. But, uh, you know, right now with uh, the way COVID's been, we haven't had a liaison meeting. Um, and I think, you know, in the future, hopefully near future, we can sit down and work out our differences. Good. All right, question number four. We're starting back with you, Mr. Favors. You start with this one. <laughs> the town recently voted to form their own EDA. Do you support that decision? Why or why not? Absolutely not. We need another EDA like we need a whole NED. We already have an EDA. Why are you going to have another EDA, which, first of all, there's going to be more employees, which comes out of the budget. And what is that EDA going to do for us? That's my first question. I'm not sure what they would do. You have an EDA right now, and it's the Front Royal Warren County EDA. It's not the, the, the Warren County EDA. It's a combined EDA. And I think yeah. having another EDA here just for Front Royal is a waste of money and a waste of time. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> Mr. Holloway. Well... We had uh, tried to work something out to uh, get back in with uh, the current EDA, and we couldn't come to a conclusion. So, um, you know, the reason why we're starting our own EDA, we're going to focus on redevelopment and areas of front row that need it. Um, we talked earlier about town citizens also being county citizens. Well, county citizens, we're already paying for the EDA. The EDA right now currently focuses more on industrial out in the corridor, rural Phoenix. We want to take a focus on what's good for front row in town with redevelopment, and that's what we would do. If we were to get back with the current EDA, we would uh, be fronting 30%, um, and that's 30% of all their expenses. Um, we can do our own EDA roughly $100,000 a year. Um, if we were to go back in with the current EDA, Warren County EDA, it's going to cost between three and 500000 at least. Could be more. So that's where we stand with that. Thank you. At, at the end of the questions, we'll address that. So, Mr. McCool. No, I'm definitely against a, a town EDA. It's, uh, it's absolutely unnecessary. We have an EDA. Uh, we have 20, about 27 properties right now the EDA is trying to develop. And guess what? 23 of those properties are in the limit, town limits. So to say that, there's, that the EDA is not doing anything is just false. Uh, they've been working 
uh, uh, promoting the town of Front Royal's properties, uh, all through all the litigation, all through all the processes that the town has been going back and forth. They are still out there showing the properties and representing the town, even though the town is not, quote, part of the EDA, so they say. So I'm definitely against it. Uh, what the town can do, uh, and we had an economic development person or a community development person, person, and that's to help existing business. Let's work on retention of our business. Let's help them thrive, not just to, to survive, but to thrive. So we want them to be better because nothing's worse than having a bunch of empty buildings on your main street when new businesses are trying to come here. So we need to work on retention. That's the one thing the town can probably do a lot better. Okay. Mr. Favors, you've used your rebuttal card. <clears throat> You know what? I know the EDA is a black eye for Front Royal and for the county. Black eyes heal. But right now, I think the reason that there's such uh, hoo-ha between the EDA and then we're going to get an EDA, because we haven't sat down with them in a, in a logistical manner and said, hey, okay, let's work this out. You know what? When somebody says, okay, it's going to be $23 million, you know what? That's part of the deal. You need to renegotiate. And that's what you need to do. And like Mr. McCool just said, there are a lot of buildings out there, and one that I'm real thorn in my side is the Afton Inn. And that building there needs to be developed or it needs to be torn down. But I think the EDA and Front Royal needs to work together. I think that's going to be the, the final resolution of this problem. Thank you. All right, on to question number five, starting with Mr. Holloway. Oh, Re he started the last one. Did he? No, Mr. Favors did. Yeah, I have it written down. I have it written down. All right. Old people. Thanks for checking on me. So we'll start with Mr. Holloway. Question number five. Relocation of the Confederate monument at the Warren County Courthouse will be on the ballot in November. What are your thoughts on this issue? I voted yesterday, and I voted no. That is, uh, that is memorial, um, and it's history, and I'm for preserving our history. And that's basically all I have to say about it. Um, no, not for it at all. Okay, Mr. McCool. The uh, statue in the courthouse obviously is not a town issue, but I, was, I, I thought it was a smart move that the county put it on the ballot that, to get some input. It's a non-binding survey, so to speak, but at least they'll get an idea where things are going. I personally look at that statue as a war memorial. It's not a statue promoting the uh, Confederacy, exactly. The war between the states is some like to say the war of northern aggression around here. So uh, I don't think it's that. I think it's a war memorial, and that's what's on the statue. That's what's on the plaque. We have a, pla uh, a, a statue there for the Vietnam War. We lost that war, but we have a statue there for is a war memorial. World War II, Korea, all those are there on our courthouse lawns, and those are war memorials. But I think it's a good idea to put it on the ballot just to kind of see where people stand. Okay, Mr. Favors? Could you repeat the question? Relocation of the Confederate monument at the Warren County Courthouse will be on, ballot, on the ballot in November. What are your thoughts on this issue? It should not be taken down. Absolutely not. There is a reason why we have monuments in this country. And that reason is to never go back to where we came from. So when you look at certain monuments, you go, wow, that was from World War II, or that was World War I, or that was the Confederacy. We will never go back to that time period again. But we need that monument to identify the people that actually gave their heart and soul for that war or for that, that situation, like the Confederacy, World War I, World War II, and even Vietnam. So no, I, wouldn't, I am totally against taking that down. Thank you. All right, moving on to question number six. We start with Mr. McCool. Tourism is a vital piece of our community's economy. A request for proposal, or RFP, was recently issued seeking a company or organization to oversee tourism efforts for the town and county. What would you like to see from the chosen company or organization? Well, actually, what I'd like to see is the town have their own tourism department 
nothing better. Tourism is like marketing. No one can sell or market your business better than you can. You can't hire somebody else from somewhere else to do that kind of work. You have to know your product, you have to love your product, and that makes it easy to sell. And right now, hiring an outside firm, I expect a lot from them. I expect them to be here in the community and to really know it if that's what the town's going to do. But I'm definitely against it, and I think we should have our own tourism. The town and county maybe will form a joint commission to do it. But it's definitely something that should be a local issue managed and run by local people. Okay. Um, Mr. Favors? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. First of all, I don't like vendors or, you know, basically people that are out there just working for, for a paycheck and they work for the county or for the city. You need to get somebody that knows this town inside and out and has a heart and soul in that, you know, inside of them that says, you know what, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to get business and tourism for this town. And I would put uh, somebody like that, if they did work for us, for Front Royal, I would put them on some type of bonus program that would say, you know what, you get X amount of business here in this town, you're going to get some money out of it. And money drives, people do things, okay? <laughs> but I think you need to definitely get somebody that works for the town. <clears throat> okay. And Mr. Holloway. Could you repeat the question, please? Tourism is a vital piece of our community's economy. A request for proposal, or RFP, was recently issued seeking a company or organization to oversee tourism efforts for the town and county. What would you like to see from the chosen company or organization? What I'd like to see from the chosen company or organization, um, I would like to see our community um, uh, thrive in tourism. I would like to see them promote our community the way it should be promoted. Um, I mean, we've got the mountains, we've got the rivers, uh, canoe capital of the world, supposedly. I mean, it's a lot here, um, and we get a lot of tourists. And uh, we've got some great things coming. I, I think everyone will be surprised. Uh, I think the company's going to do some great things for us. Um, but uh, we need to really promote our town. It's a lot here to see, not only in town and in the county. Excellent. So that concludes our questions. What we're going to do is invite everyone to give us a two minute, um, this is your time to fill as you, as you choose. We will start with Mr. I'm sorry. We're back to one. Start with Mr. Favors. Two minutes are yours. How did I know you were going to do that? <laughs> no, my name is Jim Favors. I decided to run for mayor a year ago. And one of the reasons I did is because a lot of people within town um, were talking to me and they talked about the council, they talked about basically the government here in this town of Front Royal. And I made a decision to be the voice of the people. And what that means is if Mr. Smith over here has an issue or a concern, please come talk to me. And I will make sure that it will be addressed to the council and of course to myself and that we can work it out no matter how mundane somebody's problem might seem, that problem is very important to that person. And if it's that important to that person, it should be that important to, uh, important to the council as well. Now there are some things, and I've seen some of the council meetings, I've seen some of them where all of a sudden there are people up here that something's on their mind, and they're talking, they get cut off after three minutes, and there was one council meeting where all of a sudden the mayor said, you know what, keep on going. And I, I had to applaud him for, for doing that because there was something important on this person's mind. And he let him talk it out. But I think it's very important that we get the, the council and the mayor and the government of, of, of the town of Front Royal together to re remember who we work for. We work for you, okay? It's not the other way around. And I think we have to keep that in mind. And by the way, I'm really not a newcomer. There have been things written that I'm a newcomer here to Front Royal, but I actually came back and forth to Front Royal starting in 1993. So I have seen the town, I've seen the changes, I've seen where the town's going. Um, and like I said, please vote for me on November 3rd. Okay. Thank Mr. you. Thank you, Mr. McCool. Two minutes is yours. 
Well, November 3rd will be an important election. Actually, starting today or starting the 18th of September is an important election. You can vote early. Uh, it's the last uh, election, last year, the Board of Supervisors had a drastic change of direction. The, the citizenry voted, uh, voted for change. And I think that sentiment is going into the town election that's coming up uh, right now. People want to change. They're tired of the way the direction has gone in the past. They're, they're not happy with the council with all the bickering going on between the county and the EDA, lawsuits going back and forth and just wasting taxpayer dollars. They're ready for a change. One thing the mayor can do, though, to make things better in this community is be a champion for the town. Someone that's out there being positive, trying to promote um, civility in the community, and trying to get people working on a good positive attitude. Things happen when, when people work together. When A works with B, you get C, which is greater than the sum of the two. Uh, we need that synergy that we, we have working together. It's much stronger in our community. Uh, we want uh, people to uh, continue to like the small charm that we have in our town. People come and visit here, and they comment all the time about our community and how great it is. We, got, we have location, location, location. We got two rivers. We got two interstates. We even got a UPS terminal in our town. What small town can say that if you're in business? You really realize how important that is. So there's a lot of great things that we have. We have all these great tools. We just have to let other people know. I tell people in the video that... I was approached by the Mississippi State Electric Company about relocating my business to Mississippi. Why? They reached out and they're looking for people to come to their state. We can do the same thing. We can reach out to uh, Northern Virginia and the surrounding areas and say, look, look at all the great things Front Royal has to offer. Why don't you come here and check us out? Remember, to vote, though, we do need to vote for change, and that's November 3rd, and, of course, McCool for mayor. Mr. Holloway. You know, um... I had this whole thing here typed up. Uh, I had a lot to say, but I can tell you this. Um, we've done a lot since I've been on council this last year and a half for this community, and we've moved forward for a lot with a lot of projects that could have been done years ago and cost millions of dollars less. Um, but right now we have a conservative council, and I can tell you this, after the election, it's possible that it could change, and it could change for the worse. Because I can tell you this, like Mr. McCool said, uh, people want change. Well, as for the role examiner, every time you read the role examiner, it's nothing but hate. That council seems like they can't do anything right. Mr. McCool's being uh, endorsed by the local beer party, the Democrat party, per se. Um, let's say Mr. Downs, I don't know if anybody knows, but Mr. Downs, he currently has a, a lawsuit against the town of Front Royal for his parking um, because he wants to create a beer garden in the back. He's got a 501c3 business, nonprofit. So let's just say Mr. McCool and his uh, candidates that he's endorsed for council get elected. What's going to happen? This, uh, this is a lot more to it than what people think. It's a lot to it. You'll be surprised once you get in here. It's not as easy as you think. And I can tell you this, I'm honest, and I'm not going to give you any BS. I'm going to tell you the truth. And we do what we think is best for the town, and when people come to us for, with issues, we try our best to help them. And I've been that way since I've been on council. I was on council back in 2008, 2012, and I was the same way then. And I'll continue to do what's right for this town. I was born and raised here, and I love this town. Thank you. I have a rebuttal. That's my closing um, statement. We're not going to take rebuttal rebuttals for the statement. last two minutes. <laughs> but I thank you, everybody. Thank you. thank you very much. We're going to take about a five-minute break. We're going to trade places with the candidates for town council, and we're going to put up new uh, nameplates.